but he won't marry me another eh, will. You know, it's more like that kind of attitude, modern day. All right, today I'm checking out the fifth dimension. I'm listening to the song Wedding Bell Blues. Let's get into it. no good place to pause this song but my goodness i finally get what's going on wedding bell blues i was thinking this was going to be about something bad happened at the wedding that's where the blues comes from no the blues is she she's in love with this guy named bill she's been true to him and whatnot and he hasn't popped the question yet that's what's going on this song must be iconic it sounds super classic but it must be iconic if there's been so many different renditions of it is this the original is this the original? Because this one you said was the number one hit. So this is probably the original and everyone else covered this and did their version of it. I love you so, I always will. And the devotion It just sounds so classy and dignified, you know? It's just, I don't even, it's just, I feel like this era is kind of gone, I guess. I guess you could say, you know what I mean? Does this exist modern day, the Wedding Bell Blues era? It's over, guys. I think, I think partners for both guys and girls, it's not just a one gender thing. I think they're kind of more viewed as disposable and you don't need them kind of thing oh well he won't marry me another eh, will you know it's more like that kind of attitude modern day both ways but i guess you can't some just generalize everyone but that seems to be common in pop culture you know so it's nice to hear the wedding bell blues it's like true love does exist you know what well i don't know if that's true love but maybe really valuing someone you know instead of viewing the the opposite sex as disposable this is the opposite of that. Nice to hear, very classy, refined, you know? I don't know. Tell me, man, what do you know? What do you know? Me and my boys on the road. You the go. She told me, boy, you the go. Like, I don't know. But I don't 